Everybody, surprise! I didn't even announce that I was doing a smoke session with Chris Riggins today, and I decided to do it. Not just because I decided to do it, but because I have special guests. And those special guests are the beautiful flowers from Coastal Sun Farm. Yay! So I got my girl Christian here. Hi, Christian. What's going on? And she brought me three amazing strains from my good friends down there in the Santa Cruz Mountains um, at Coastal Sun Farm. They have the cherry punch. Oh, and then there is the sour strawberry. All right. And then for you nighttime people, we have a wedding cake. You can't even see that because I'm so bright. Let me let me dim my light here so you guys can see this a little bit better. There we go. You guys can dim my light. There we go. Yeah, yeah. See, I got the wedding cake right here from Coastal Sun Farm. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a, sh a quick, quick ass review. We're going to do a quick ass review smoke set. So what we're going to do is I'm going to roll the cherry punch up in a luxury frontal leaf. As you see here, guarded by my man, Gator Loki. Don't fuck with Gator Loki. He's a motherfucking man. Shout out to him. Um, and I'm going to roll some of this up in one of those. But I'm going to taste the sour strawberry and the wedding cake in my one hitter chillum. I love these things. These things are the best. I mean, it's kind of like... For what I do for tasting weed, they're actually really good because it's glass and it's one hit. So you can get that real mm, taste of what you're smoking. Um, you know, I love frontal leaf and that's what I'm going to smoke to the day I die. I probably die smoking on a frontal leaf. But when it comes to, uh, you know, just tasting and getting quick shots, I'm going to go with these with the one hitter. So mm, let's start with the sour strawberry. I mean, is it strawberry sour or sour strawberry? It's sour strawberry, sour. Okay, guys. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with strawberry. I know you heard strawberry cough. You've heard of all these fruity strains. But strawberry, to me, is such a unique strain of, of cannabis because the strawberry flavor is so hard to tell. Because if anybody has been around strawberries, you know, actual strawberries is very hard to smell. I don't know if, like, I know there's a smell to strawberries, but I don't know if they actually have that aroma, like, say, an orange or banana or the many fruits that we eat have that citrus smell. Strawberry kind of is more of a mellow smell. So to put it in a cannabis strain is really miraculous because, you know, cannabis is all about terpenes and smell and how you get that smell and how it affects you and how you feel about it. When you smell this, okay, this sour strawberry, oh, my God. It's, it's, it's one of those things where you know that you're going to get uplifted. It's not very heavy. It's actually really nice. I've smoked this one before. Um, actually, I think I've reviewed it here on the smoke sesh before. But I'm going to review some more right now because I just love the way. And the thing about this is this is a uh, greenhouse. But let me tell you, this has got the feel of most indoor weed. It's very, let's, let's listen for the, crisp, for the crack. Oh, you hear a crack? Oh my God, the crack, and it's so sticky. I love this strawberry flavor. Um, the sour part, now you know where the sour comes from. That's the sour diesel, baby. That's how we keep the gas in it. Baby, gotta keep the gas in the car, all right? So, I'm gonna take a little nug of this. Are you back, Nina? Are you gonna, are you, you chilling? Are you gonna, you know, cause you're gonna go lick Christian. All right, my dog is very intrusive. She's very, needs to be including everything, all right? So I packed a cool little bowl, all right, and get my trusty lighter out. And we're going to taste this sour strawberry from Coastal Sun Farm. Oh, my God. So what I'm tasting is a very subtle strawberry flavor underlined with a very gassy um, OG uh, diesel flavor, like that diesel in there, that sour part. That comes through as soon as it hits the back of your, your mouth. When you're tasting the strawberry, it's like right here on the tip. It's very... I know, it looks like I'm smoking a crap pipe, guys, but don't judge me. This is weed. But yeah, oh my God. And the coat that it gets on your mouth, like the diesel part, my God, that is, that is probably some of the smoothest sour I've tasted in a while. Um, the, the strawberry mellows out the diesel a little bit. 
and it gives you this nice hybrid meat in the middle type thing. Um, and let me tell you, man, it's it's amazing, man. It is it is super amazing. Yes, yeah, my Captain Planet ring, you like that? But yeah, saving the environment. But like, it is really really good. So let me clean this out because um, oh my God, where's my pick? I'm so unprepared to do the smoke sesh, guys. Don't judge me. I normally have all my weed utensils. Oh, here it is. All right, give it up for my weed, my weed stash over there. We got to keep going. All right, give it up for the weed stash. All right, so here's my pick. I'm gonna pick this this bud out. Oh, that was good. That's a good bud. And I didn't smoke the bud all the way through because I just wanted to taste it, and also I didn't want to leave that resin in here for it to you know ruin the taste of the next one. So we're gonna clean it out a little bit so we can get a fresh tasting. Um, I would say if you guys are looking for a good daytime smoke, if you want something that's mellow, that's still going to get you to a level, go with this, this this sour strawberry from Coastal Sun. Find out where you can get it around you in California. I will go with it. Um, let's see here. Let me read you guys the numbers for you people that need to know. Uh, it is a 31.7% THC, and it has CBD of 0.1%. Now, that's important, okay? That gives you kind of an idea of what they're trying to do here. They're trying to give you a terpene profile that allows you to, uh, I guess, medicate as well as recreationally enjoy this. Uh, 31%, that is key signs of, of a sativa dominant hybrid. If you really want to know, if you're dealing with sativa and indicas, look at the THC level. If you get a THC uh, indica that's 34%, prepare to sleep for six days, all right? But if you are looking for a good midday Hybrid, sativa dominant hybrid. I will go with the Coastal Sun Sour Strawberry. Now, let's get to my nighttime people, all my late night smokers. You know, all you people out there that like to get a little cakey at night when you got a little somebody special over and you want to taste a little something stronger. Coastal Sun Farm presents you with a wedding cake. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you know about anything about cannabis strains, you know the cakes are always always going to give you a lower a higher probability of being in the couch right chino is this so you call it though you old school chino doja is real but coastal sun has has they have a great lineup of sativa dominant hybrids and sativas i'll tell you right off the bat some of my favorite sativas, but for them to come with this indica means they really love me mm. right off the bat this cake is just banging right in your nostril. Look how nice and chunky that bud is. Oh yeah, look at that, that looks so sexy. Look at it, it looks like a thick ass woman. Look at this, oh, look at this, all oh, thick and shit. Look at that, yeah, oh, look look at this. Mm. Everybody loves a good thick ass nugget of weed. All right, so let's see, I'm gonna pull the smaller nugget out because I don't really wanna bust that one open yet. You know, I wanna wait, I wanna wait till it gets dark outside and bust that one open. So again, what I like to do, I like to listen to the crack. And this one has a, a good crack on it. Oh, nice, nice, and it's been, okay. And so, let's see here. Let's get our one hitter. And we're gonna stuff it in here. All right. Now, mind you, this is an indica. I have shows tonight, so if I'm a little lethargic at the shows, it's Christian's fault, because she brought me this <laughs> indica. No, I'm just kidding, no. The th great thing about these indicas is if if you're dealing with pain or you're dealing with anything that you're trying to, to it's perfect for that. The THC level on these are amazing. Um, this one sits at a THC level of, let me pull out the thing, I dropped my lighter, of 25%. Now, you know, there's, you know, it, 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 people are so caught up on the THC level, they don't understand that this has a lower percentage than this, but this can definitely put you to sleep. You know what I mean? And don't get it twisted. Weed is, is, is supposed to kind of sedate you. Weed is all supposed, but there is a difference between, you know, in the couch and a, you know, nice afternoon nap. So uh, let's try this wedding cake. Maybe put a little bit more in there because I, I think I put a little skimpy in there because I was trying not to, I'm trying not to overdose myself with this little hit. So let's see. Wow. Off the bat. That shit has such a thick smoke to it. Like a super thick, creamy, cakey smoke. I mean, like, if you are into the cookie strains, if you're into the gelatos, 
this wedding cake is actually going to be right up your alley. It's very bakery-ish. And it has like this very nice sweet aftertaste that you're going to get from a cake. And you guys nailed it. It's beautiful. Now, I want to see something. Let's, let me see. I don't know if I can tell on this, but if you look really closely, you look at the tip of this, you can see how white that ash is. That white ash is a signal and a sign that your weed has been properly grown and cared for, and you should smoke more of it. Uh, that's just something that you should do. Here's the thing. Smoking anything is not necessarily healthy for you. We're not going to fucking act like we're not doing what we're doing. But what I can say is even though smoking isn't as healthy for you as it should be, if you're going to smoke, smoke proper shit. Smoke stuff that is properly grown so that way what you're ingesting in your body will be at its peak uh, peak value and you won't be risking getting you know sick or you know, hurt, you know in making yourself get sick sooner or you know whatever. But Always look for the white ash. If you got white ash, you're doing good. All right, so I've gotten those two out the way, the two, the two uh, chalices. Now what we're going to do is we're going to break down some cherry punch. I love cherry punch. I love cherry AK-47. I love cherry pie, cherry punch. Whatever's cherry, I'm going to smoke it because it's just something about this, this blend. Cherry creates such a, a, a tasty, tasty blend no matter what you put it with whether you put it with a diesel a sour a kush whatever you put that cherry flavor in there with it's going to be amazing so let's break this down i probably need to put some more down because my blunts be a little big you know what i'm saying i'm compensating for something <laughs> not, not that guys i'm compensating for my short legs i roll blunts the size i wish my legs were in proportion to blunts okay if i had taller legs phew, probably wouldn't be doing this i'd be dunking on a nigga right now some corner of the world just, ah, ah, just all the nuts in his grill or her grill because you know i'll play anybody i'm not discriminating all right so let's get my grinder out um already i can tell it's gonna be a nice breakdown one thing i like when i break down weed in the grinder is i like it when it comes out with sort of a form still i don't know if you're saying i don't like the, the powdery dust Per se, so I don't use metal grinders as much anymore because they create this like you gotta grind them to the point where just dust and dust to me is a lot harder to roll, especially in fronto leaf. So what I do? Oh man, I gotta work out. Well, this is strong ass weed. All right, so, strong and strong. Let's see how strong it is when I smoke it. All right, so we take a couple twists and then I try to pull and see where I'm at. I think I'm at a good consistency. Yeah, I think that's good. What do you think? That's a nice consistency. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fluffy consistency. That'll give me a nice fluffy blunt. Um, you know, the powdery thing is cool, but the fluff for me, I like it to feel like, you know, I like to feel like to feel like nice snow. Not the snow you put in your nose, losers. <laughs> Get fucking out your mind. I don't do that anymore. I'm talking about the nice snow when you go to like Squaw Valley and it's just fresh powder and you're just like, oh my God, bro, the snow's so. So fucking amazing, man. All right, so perfect, perfect texture for rolling. You don't want it to be too soft because it makes it hard in the blunt and it's all lamp and you're trying to, you know, do too much. But you don't want it to be too hard where you're poking holes in your blunt because, um, you know, frontos are like humans. They're all individuals. You know, the individual fronto, of course, Luxury Fronto Leaf. Go to LuxuryFrontoLeaves.com uh, and, and holler at them. Put Fronto Pro in the checkout and you get 15% off on me. Yeah, it's on me because you know me. See, it's good to know me. All right, so let's see. Let's get a nice section of leaf. Normally, I would have had the leaf already brung down, but like I said, I just decided to do this last minute because Christian here was coming to do a photo shoot, and I was like, fuck it. I might as well do two birds with one motherfucking stone. And while you guys are here, you guys get to be a part of it too. So, let's see here. Uh, also, just want to shout them out. Uh, shout out to the pillow sesh going on over there. My man, Phil and them. Uh, and, and, and I need y'all to go check them out. Good, good cannabis by independent dealers. I say independent dealers. We can say that, right? That's, you guys can won't be on this one. But it'd be on this one. Independent dealers, bitch. Yes! No. Support your local drug dealer, guys. <laughs> You know, it's hard out here when people can just walk into an Apple store and buy weed, you know. It's tough. 
And I was like, I remember you had to buy weed from people that looked like they had criminal records. <laughs> now, that's crazy. You can't even really have a criminal record to sell weed legally. But it was kind of required back in the day. Like, I wouldn't buy weed from somebody that's never been arrested for weed back in the day. Like, mm, you haven't even been to jail. I don't trust your weed. You don't get the good hookup because you don't know anybody from the inside that knows somebody that's got the hookup. It's all about connections. You go to college to learn how to be a politician, you get those connections. You go to prison, you learn to be a drug dealer, and you should get a better product. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. We don't want anybody going to jail. War on drugs is a sham. <laughs> all right, Chris Riggins is not here speaking up for the police. Fuck 12. <laughs> Whatever your local colloquialism is for the police. All right. So uh, here's something that I get asked a lot about Fronto Leafs. Because, like I said, they're so individual. And it, it just, what I mean is, like, they're like snowflakes. It's like every Fronto Leaf has its own little patterns, its own little holes and all this thing. You know, what's up, Patrick J? Uh, like, for instance, I don't know. You, you can't really see because it's, you know, I'm on a camera phone, whatever. But there's, like, three little holes right here in the front. So three tiny little holes. Now, while they seem very tiny, like, I can just stuff them weed, what those tiny holes will present is a much bigger problem as I smoke. As I get closer to them, the air will, the smoke will escape from them and then the blunt will stop hitting and I will, in fact, waste probably close to half a gram of weed at the back end of the blunt. Uh, so we can't do that. So what I do is, and this is the great thing about Fronto, this is a little Fronto trick. The little scraps that you cut off, because you're going to cut little scraps off, become great little patches. So I just make a couple little snips because it's not a big area that I need to cover, but I just need to cover like this right here. This is still there. So look at, now, if you guys um, if you guys have been around me and you asked me to show you how to do this after I've done this video, I'm slap the weed out your hand. I'm just kidding. I would never do that to weed. I would not slap weed on the ground because you can't roll. I will judge you highly, though, and I will probably not smoke with you for a while because I will feel disappointed that you don't listen to me or you don't watch my smoke sesh, uh -huh. which you can find on my IG Live page and on my YouTube page. But, you know, as if y'all really love me. All right, so I think I've got all the tiny little holes. I like to hold it up to the light just to see. I think I got it. All right, I picked this clean edge to make my top. I'm gonna gonna take all the weed. I don't need to roll all this in this blunt because, come on, moderation, right, Christian? We, we don't want to we don't want people out here getting too obliterated. And I got comedy to do in about an hour or so, so I want to be you know give those people who paid money a good show. All right, so let's see here. I got. I got my, my my weed sort of evenly distributed in my fronto. All right. And then I'm just going to, you know, pull it over and do this. You know what I'm saying? Get a little, get a little tuck. Uh -uh. Now, I recently had bought some blunt glue and I ran out and haven't ordered new blunt glue. But let me tell you, I love blunt glue. It actually serves the purpose that you get it for. Uh, especially when you roll frontos and backwoods because as you all know from licking your fucking lips saliva dries up and gets crusty and it don't stick so that's why you know rolling the blunt with your saliva is okay as long as you're about to smoke it right away but if you want to like hold a blunt for a minute mm -hmm. and not have to you know do all that get you some blunt glue glue gar is one i use or you can make your own uh hit up my man jeremiah on front look front at least he actually has a great recipe I forgot it because he told me when I was high, but, uh, you know, we can get that from him and we'll, I'll post it. All right. Huh? Rolling this up, rolling up this cherry punch from Coastal Sun Farm. Now you can find Coastal Sun Farm all over the motherfucking state, especially if you're here in Northern California make sure you hit up weed maps or whatever, uh, you know, serves you smoking. If they have it, I don't know if they have it. I don't, we won't talk about smoking. Cause I'm not going to say nothing, but I'm letting my face speak for it. <laughs> Shout out to them. They did let me host their stage, so I'm not going to be in hail, but, you know. It is what it is, players. All right, so then we're going to cut the ends off because I'm a Virgo and I have to have symmetry. It's not symmetrical. It's not right. I can't smoke it. I don't know how you motherfuckers be smoking these weird, odd-shaped blunts, these blunt sets. Not built for speed, but built for comfort-ass blunts. I don't like them blunts. I don't like your minivan-looking blunts, all right? Now, I'm not saying a blunt has to be a straight line, but your blunt should look like a fucking blunt, all right? It shouldn't look like you pulled a turd off the street and lit it up, you know? 
And that's kind of why I got off Backwoods, too, because it does look like a big old turd. No no disrespect to Backwoods. They may, If you guys want to sponsor me, I'll gladly take the sponsorship. But we, we're going to have to talk about your formula and how your blunts look. Um, or maybe it's just the people that roll, you know. I, like I said, I'm a Virgo. I'm very fucking asymmetric. She has to be symmetrical. Look at this shit. Look, even the tip. Look how it looks perfectly cut off. Like, I got, you know what I'm saying? That's why scissors are important. Look, weed people. Get yourself some scissors. Stop chewing on the end of the blunt like a dog. Like a dog. Get yourself some scissors and be an adult. Get yourself a weed pack. If you're going to consider yourself a weed smoker, don't be out here laughing as weed smokers look unprepared and whack and shit. Get your shit together. Smoke like an adult. You hear me? Smoke like that's that's the new that's my slogan. That's my new logo. We're putting that on t-shirts sponsored by Coastal Sun Farms and to say, smoke like an adult, but dream like a child. Oh, 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 my nigga. Pap, did you hear that? No. I said, smoke like an adult, but dream like a child. Nigga. Right. Nigga. Oh, I should. Oh, my God. I'm going to write Hallmark cards from here on out. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Shout out to Pap Johnson's other room. Smoking on some Coastal Sun Farm GMO cookies. See? We keep it in. We keep it coastal sun farm right here for the smoke session. All right, so here we go. Cherry punch. Mmm. Oh, the cherry. And I know what you're thinking, Chris. You just smoke three strains. How can you tell the difference? Because I understand terpenes, dummy. Uh, here's what it is. When you inhale, right? You, you don't, I, when I inhale, I should say now when you inhale, when I inhale, I don't necessarily go for the straight inhale first. I hold it across my tongue. I'm like, you know, a wine, a wine uh, sommelier. You know, I, I wanted to go across my taste buds so I can see what flavors I catch. And with smoke, it's difficult because, yes, it's still smoke. You still taste fire or whatever. But when terpenes are done right, the terpenes hit you before anything else through your nostril. So what I smell first is I'm inhaling as I smell the cherry. The cherry's just like bing, bing, bing. And it's not the maraschino cherry. It's like real fucking cherries, guys. Um, you know, and you smell that. And then the punch is when it hits you in the back of your throat. And you're like, ooh, wow. That's a strong, strong, strong strain. Yeah. Definitely hot, lots of notes of cherry. And very smooth. Very smooth. And it kind of makes me think of this uh, term I heard of today. I've never heard of this term. It's called who? Canna Bro. You know what that is? <laughs> Christian, a Canna Bro, from what my understanding is, it's a, uh, it's like a frat boy of cannabis. <coughs> Excuse me. It's like a frat boy of cannabis. So basically, like a can of bro is somebody that only cares about THC percentage, bro. Let me get that THC percentage. What, what's the THC percentage? What's the THC? Oh, you got the cookies? Oh, well, you're only smoking cookies? Why well, only smoke gelato? Why only smoke this? Or, you know, those guys who don't really understand how cannabis is supposed to be. You don't understand how it works. These are the people that we call can of bros. They're the people that, in, in some people's minds, are ruining the, the, the cannabis space because... They're not in it for what cannabis is really about. Cannabis is about compassion. Uh, it's about healing. It, it's always been. People, all indigenous tribes who have experimented with cannabis, use it in healing and, and rituals to escape and find themselves. You know, like it's, it's along the lines of, of mushrooms, ayahuasca, and all these other psychedelic drugs that we use to go inside and really kind of repair what the outside has done to us. So when we get these can of bros, their main goal is to have the highest percentage because everything has to be super strong. And they don't understand that when everything is super strong, it becomes nothing because everybody's sedated now. Nobody's enjoying the terpene profile. Nobody's enjoying the actual cannabis. They're just getting numb. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is whack. Mm -hmm. And that's, oh my God. That's good. That's the one of the reasons why I really fuck with Coastal Sun Farm. Like, I've been to the farm. I've seen how it works. They're a family out that motherfucker. And they keep with the white ash, you know, across the whole board. So, for me, 
I think, you know, when we're looking at cannabis, we have to stay away from the cannabis bros. You know, don't be a cannabis bro. Don't be a cannabis bro. Be an, be an individual smoker. Smoke because of, find your strength. Find the strain that fits you. Like, you know, like I would recommend that if you are a daytime smoker and you want to do a lot of daytime shit, get this, the sour strawberry. That will give you a good mellow, easy kill, even kill so you can go out and do things. If you need a jump to the morning, I will go with the, the cherry punch. Like, if you really want to start that morning off with a nice, strong TAC hit, because let me see, the cherry punch is coming in at 27%. So that's between the sour and the wedding cake. Now, the wedding cake, like I said, this is your evening time, nighttime, chilling, watching a movie, uh, back spasms, whatever you need to get rid of, it's perfect for that. Um, and I would recommend those three in that order. Um, just based on my limited knowledge of terpenes and stuff that I studied for a whole year. But I know people study a lot longer. Let me not pull that card. But what I'm saying is smoke the weed that you want to smoke. Don't smoke what everybody's smoking because you heard some rappers say it or whatnot. Smoke what weed helps you. Smoke the weed that's going to make you feel better. The weed that's going to medicate you. Uh, you know, for mental people, like I know a lot of right now, a lot of people are going through mental shit. Like, the past two years have been crazy, and I know a lot of us are stressing and trying to find a grip on what is happening, uh, and, and cannabis can help, but don't just think getting numb with a high THC cannabis is going to fucking help you, because all that's going to do is numb you, and when that wears off, you're back where you started. Uh, I would recommend hybrids for people that have high anxiety, because yeah, a too strong sativa could send you into an anxiety attack or whatnot, because, yeah, the, one of the things, one of the side effects of cannabis, it can make you paranoid. And if you're already paranoid, you don't need that. So look for more uh, indica-dominant hybrids. And, like, friends, like, in this case, I will go with the sour strawberry um, because it just has a nice calm high that you can take over. Uh, and maybe even go with the wedding cake, you know, if it's really that bad. But the wedding cake, with this wedding cake, it is not overpowering to the point where you're just going to be a motherfucking robot you're going to be able to operate uh you know for for other mental health things i'm and interesting i'm not a doctor guys i'm not a therapist i'm not a psych don't don't take this as advice just take this as what's worked in my opinion and what has worked for people that i've been around and what i've seen work and let me just tell you if you got it you got to find your strength because also at the same time People have different effects and different strains. You know, I know some people that smoke Blue Dream and it's high and they're sativa and they're up. And I know people that smoke Blue Dream and they go down. They're asleep. It's over. It's a wrap for the day. So what I think people need to do is make sure they're finding their strain. All right. Smoke like an adult, dream like a child and find your motherfucking strain. All right. So I'm going to go finish smoking this. Um, we got some more pictures to take. You guys uh, remember, if you like any of the cannabis that you've seen here, just go in my profile, I'll post everything. Uh, I'll tag Coastal Sun Farm. Find out where you can find them in the state of California. If you're outside the state of California, come visit. And then we can smoke some Coastal Sun Farm together. I'm not playing for, your, playing for your plane ticket, though. I don't like you like that. I mean, I like you. Look, let me rephrase that. I like you, but I don't like you buy you a plane ticket across the country like you yet. And not for all of them, but there's some people I will, but they know who they are. They don't have to ask, but you know, anyway, I'm rambling. But anyway, yeah, make sure you check them out. Uh, make sure that you also check out Luxury Frontal Leaf. You can catch him on IG. He's always here. Uh, my man Jeremiah will take care of you. Go to their page, LuxuryFrontalLeaves.com, and put in Fronto Pro at checkout, and you get 15% off because you know me, motherfuckers. Hey, I know y'all didn't think it would pay off knowing me, but it does sometimes, 15% at a time on Frontos. Um, not on your bills. I can't. I don't. I don't know nobody. I mean, I don't know nobody like that. I mean, not yet. Give me a couple of years, and I'll be able to pay at least one of y'all bills a month. And you know, I promise I won't make you do anything weird for it. Maybe some like weird gladiator thing at my house, but that's only just because by that time I will own you. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't, I won't own you, but I'll have more money than you. You want to be my friend, and I'll probably make you pay for it through your blood. But. That's years in the future. We can enjoy each other's company now. Uh, I'm going to go smoke some more. Make sure you guys check out the Smoke Session with Chris Riggins every motherfucking Thursday. And I know I'm saying it. I'm doing it. I'm getting it in there. So check me out. I don't know what time of the day I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. You go to my IG Live and my YouTube page. Check it out. And also, guys, uh, go to go to, go to to Chocolate Sunday's YouTube page and watch my clip. I want a million views. I need a million views. You know why I need a million views? Because I get a pair of Jordans. If I get a million views, that's how that's that's my goals in life. Like a million views, yeah, that means a million people saw me. But I get Jordans, free Jordans, y'all. Okay, 
that's a big thing in this household. As you can see, that's a big that's a big deal here. We like shoes. So anyway, go that do that. Every Wednesday at the Oakland Athletic Club, you can catch me with the Kick Black crew, Kick Black Comedy, uh, and we're going to be, uh, thank you, Kree, I love you, uh, we're going to be rocking there every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got some of the best black and non-white comedians in the bank coming through, and I did say that. I did say black and non-white comedians. Don't, don't think I'm hating, but it's black and non-white comedians. White women are on the fence. We're, we're still in debates about if we're going to allow white women on our show. We don't know yet. A Christian, what do you think? You think we should? Like, I mean, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll, it'll be, we might have them do some tasks to get on the show. Like, you know, I don't know. Black and non-white, you know who you are, people. We love you. We love everybody, but we especially love black and non-white people. <laughs> uh, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to see y'all tonight at the Copper Spoon, 7 at 9 p.m. 7 and 9 p.m. I know there's tickets available. Come through, pull up. We're going to tell some new jokes. Everything's going to be hunky-dory. I'll see y'all. Christian, thank you so much for coming through. We're going to have this up on Coastal Sun Farms page soon. Oh, yeah, also, we got a video that we did. we ever put that video out that we did at the lake? Yeah, you can check that out on their page, too. I'll share it again because I don't think I shared it yet, but I will share it again, and you guys can watch that. And we're going to see y'all. So let's we'll go smoke. All right, guys. You guys uh, do what you do, and I'm going to do what I do.